Hello, guys. Good evening. Me, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. 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 Can everyone listen to me? Yes. 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 Perfect. So, uh, just let me uh, say welcome to this model, guys. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you. Uh, we're going to be working together during this module, and uh, I hope that you can learn. Uh, Last possible. I hope that okay. So, uh, I hope, uh, some sort of interference. I don't know if it is just me or you, but you can listen to the same thing. I listen to some sort of interference, like in the background. Like in the background. Is it just me or everyone is listening? Just me or wait. 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 Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Just let me let me double check here. It might be the internet connection, guys. I understand that. I mean, it's raining in some parts of El Salvador. I understand that some of your classmates are not going to be here with us today because it's raining and in some other places of El Salvador, there has been some floods. So it's, I mean, we're going through a difficult situation right now, but we're going to try to do our best possible today. So before we start, guys, the instructions that we have for this week is that uh, since we are going to start today, we will have class on Friday, but next week, uh, classes are going to be normal. What does that mean? It means that we're going to have just classes from Monday through Thursday, okay? Just this week, we will have classes on Friday because yesterday we didn't have classes, so we're going to try to cover that class on Friday, okay? Perfect, so, uh, well, if at any point of the, the explanation of the topic or while I'm speaking, you're not able to understand something I'm saying, please let me know. I will try to help you with that, okay? But sometimes I understand that you're, I mean, there are still some things that you might probably not understand. So we are going to try to do our best. And if you have any question or something during the class, ask as many questions as possible, okay? So do never hesitate, never like, oh, I'm shy or something like that. No, if you have a question while I'm explaining something, please do it so we can try to help you in that, okay? Uh, another thing, guys, is that when we go to the breakout rooms, I will request you to... Um, to try to speak in English, okay? Because sometimes when we go to the breakout rooms, there are some students that are always speaking in Spanish. But we have to understand that, uh, I mean, this is the time for you to practice. And if you don't practice here, I mean, this is a time that you have just one hour. So we're gonna try to do our best, okay? So welcome to the ones that are just connecting. We have a lot of people today. We have 22, something like that. Well. 23 something. So nice to meet you guys. Let me introduce myself. So I will try to uh, share the screen with you so you can see. Um, can everyone see the screen? So uh, as you can see there, my name is Nelson Alnay Ramirez. So I'm gonna be here with you during this, during this module. And well, you just have some information about me there so you can see it. Can everyone see it? Can you? Please confirm that. Can you see the slide? Yes, teacher, I see them. Oh, okay. So as I was saying, this is just general information about me, just for you to know a little bit in case 
you have any question regarding to anything, you feel free to ask. We have a WhatsApp group, so you can ask there any questions you might have regarding to anything. So we're there to help you out, okay? So uh, today, guys, we're going to start with the topic that we have for today. So um, just let me, okay. So today, guys, we're going to have adverbs of frequency and questions. I'm pretty sure, guys, that some of you already know what we're talking about. When, when you listen to the word adverbs of frequency, what does come to your mind? Or what do you think when you listen to adverbs of frequency? Does any one of you have any idea? Solamente uno, verdad, no se peleen mucho. Hello. Hello. Um, usually, Always. Yes. Yeah. You have you have something there. Yeah. Those are examples of some adverbs uh, of frequency, of course. Uh, today we're going to understand how to make sentences, how to make negative sentences, and how to make questions too using adverbs of frequency. We're going to see a lot of information, and we're going to try to understand pretty much everything about those. Once again, guys, if during the class or during the explanation you have any question regarding to what I'm saying, please ask. Ask as many questions as possible so you don't have any, any issue or any problem in the future, okay? So we're going to start. And I would like to have a volunteer. Can I have a volunteer that can help me to read the first part that we have here? Me, Hi, teacher. teacher. Who is me? What's your name? Katia. Katia. Okay, Katia, Katia thank you very much. Okay, teacher. We use some adverbs to describe how frequently we do an activity. There are, there are, these are color adverbs of frequency and include. Okay, thank you very much. Oh. Now, okay. uh, now we're going to have uh, the pronunciation of those and I will do it first and then I will select some people randomly and I will need you guys to help me like to pronounce them, okay? So we are going to go with the first one, which is always, this is very common. We use this one every single time. Like for example, when someone asks you something and you want to say, Siempre you use, use that, always. Then we have usually, normally, generally, often. This one, we have two pronunciations. We can say either often or often. It's up to you. The one you think it is easier for you to pronounce, you can say often or often. Then we have frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never, okay? So we are 23 on the call, guys. I would like everyone to participate, but you know, because of the time, we cannot do so, but we are going to try to uh, have some participants so we can, uh, they can help us. So let me see. I will select Eliud. That's Eliud, yes, I guess that's Eliud. Okay, can you please uh, help me, Elio, doing the pronunciation of those, the adverbs of frequency here, please? What is this? Uh, I always look after. I usually walk to work. No, no, no. I, I, no. no, no, no. Uh, just just the adverb, uh, Elliot, just the adverb of frequency, not, not the examples, just the adverbs. Mm -hmm. 10%. Okay. Always, always study after class. Okay. Let's go, Elliot. Let's go, Elliot. I understand, teacher. Oh. I not understand. Okay, so in this case, what I want you to do is 
just to read or to pronounce the adverbs of frequency, yeah. not the examples, just this part here. Yeah. Do you, do you understand now? Do you understand? Yes, yeah. Mm. No? No, teacher. Okay, no problem. Probably it's... it's, it's, it's... Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Elmer. So would you like to participate? Always. Go ahead, yes. Usually. Normally, generally, often, frequently, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes occasionally, mm -hmm. seldom, okay, uh, hardly ever, yes, rarely. Okay. Never. Thank you very much, Elmer. I do appreciate that. Let me see. Uh, Iris Rahina, can you please do the same thing? Always. Okay. Usually. Okay. Normally. Yes. Generally. Often. Frequently. Sometime. Occasionally. Seldom. Hardly ever, rarely, and never. Okay, thank you very much. Ladies. So let me okay. see. Uh, Joaquin also, Ramirez. Uh, hello, sir. Can you help me doing the same thing? Okay, thank you. Thank you Always, please. usually, normally, generally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom. Oh, hardly ever, rarely, never. Thank you very much. Now, as you can see, we have some examples right next to the adverb of frequency. And there, what we're going to do is to, to read the examples. So I will give, uh, let me see, Ingrid Jamilet, I need you to help me with the first example. And William, Livorio, I guess. I will I will ask you to help me with example number two. Cecilia Hernandez, example number three. Maritza Isabel, example number four. Let me see who else. Uh, Vidal Mejia, example number five. Arriving, I guess, that's your name. Uh, example number six. Silvia de Ramos, number seven. Uh, Ana Mercedes, number eight. And the last one is going to be for um, Jocelyn Adrian. Okay, so you already know your name and your order. So let's go ahead. I always study after class. Thank you very much. Who is number two? I usually walk to work. Thank you. Number three. I normally get good marks. Excellent. Who's the next one? I often read in bed at night. Thank you very much. Who is the next one? I sometimes sing in the shower. In the shower. In the shower. Okay, thank you. The next one. I occasionally go to bed late. Excellent. Who is the next one? I seldom put Okay, the next one. I hardly ever get angry. Thank you very much. And who is the last one? The the vegetarians never eat meat. This one we say vegetarians. 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 Okay, okay, that's the way we say it. Now, Thank you. as you can see, guys, in this in this case, we just have example. Okay, so. When it comes to creating sentences, we have to follow a formula. What is the formula that we have? Here we have a formula. We have to follow, first of all, a subject. Then we have the adverb. 
And then we have the main verb. And of course, after that, we have a complement. That is only for positive sentences, okay? So we say, Daniel always passes his exams. Can someone tell me why are we modifying the verb pass? Why are we doing it? Teacher. Yes. I can hear because much interference. There's I don't, a lot of. I don't know. Okay, thanks for letting me know. So I, that everyone else is just turn your microphones off, please, just in case you want to say something. Just turn it on. So uh, as I was saying before, can someone tell me? Why are we modifying the verb here? Why are we doing that? Does any one of you know? Yes, teacher. It's because we are talking about the third person. Excellent. So usually what we do is because we're talking about the third person. So Daniel, which pronoun can we use for Daniel? Obviously, we are going to use he. So when we use he, because it is third person, we will always have to modify the verb, okay? So, and remember, when we have any other verb that, that is not the verb be, we are going to follow this formula, this one. But what happens if I have the verb be? So then the formula changes a little bit, why? Because as you can see here, we have subject, the verb be, and after the verb be, we have the adverb. So we don't, we don't follow the same formula. So it means that we have an example here. It says, he always, he's always happy. So we never say he always is happy. No, that's a mistake. So what you have to do, guys, is you have to keep in mind the order that we have, okay, to create sentences. Remember, if it is the verb be, the formula changes a little bit. But if it is any other verb that is not the verb be, this is the formula that you will have to follow. Do you guys have any questions so far? No? Okay. Very good. So let's move on. Let's see what else do we have. Here we have a very important information, guys, and something, some things that we have to pay attention to. Why? Because some of the adverbs of frequency, we can change them into the position. It means that we can use them at the beginning, or we can move that in the middle, or we can actually use them at the end of the sentence but some, some others don't. So we have to pay attention to that. Let me see, can I have a volunteer to help me reading this part here? Yeah, teacher. Who, who, who are you? Nidia. Oh, yeah. Okay, Nidia, thank you very much. Help me, please. Usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally. Occasionally, I like to eat today's food. I food. Okay, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. What does it mean, guys? That these adverbs of frequency, such as usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally, those we can use them either at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence, or sometimes even at the end of the sentence. So those, we can change the position in the sentence. Uh, let me see, Katya, do you have any question, Katya? No, teacher, no, teacher. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, as you can see here, when we use it at the beginning of the sentence, what we are going to do after the adverb of frequency, we will have to always add a comma. If you don't add a comma, I mean, when you're speaking in English, obviously you're not going to read the comas, that's obvious. But when it comes to writing, 
And when you are writing something like a formal document or when you're writing a text message or when you're writing a letter or something like that, it's very important that you use punctuation. Why is that? Why is punctuation important? It's very important because if you don't use punctuation, even in Spanish, some things change. That's the same in English. So every single time that you use an adverb of frequency at the beginning, remember that right after the adverb of frequency, you will have to add a comma, okay? That's, that's pretty much it. Can I have another volunteer to help me read in this part here? Anna, okay, Anna, let's go. Okay, you said, but we cannot choose the following at the beginning of our sentences. Mm -hmm. Always, seldom, readily, hardly, ever, and never. Okay, thank you. So these ones we have here, we can never ever move them. So what does it mean? It means that we have to follow the formula that we just saw. We will have to follow that formula and we will only are going to be able to use them following that formula, but we cannot use them at the beginning of the sentence. So that's what we need to know, okay? So is there any questions so far? So far, so good. Are we all understanding? Si todos estamos entendiendo, right? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the part of hardly ever and never. Because in this year, even though, uh, well, well, we're going to, I will need a volunteer. I don't know if someone can help me to read this part. Katia, thank you very much, Katia. Chair, I, teacher, okay, all right. We use hardly ever and never with positive, not negative verbs. She hardly ever comes to my parties. They never say thank you. Okay, so what is the reason or why do we use hardly ever and never <clears throat> with positive because when we use that we give a negative sense to the sentence but we do not make a negative sentence i don't i don't i don't know if you understand what i mean do you understand what i mean yes teacher okay so i, I will see that later on because we have some exercises later on so i will see if you clearly understand it or not okay so as you can see here we are using never, not in negative verbs. We will never use never, obviously, with negative verbs. So we are going to use it in a positive way because when you use never, you are automatically giving a negative sense to the sentence, even though we are not using an, a negative verb, okay? So most of the time, I need you to also understand that we are going to use the small word ever when we have, when we ask a question. So normally this word is going to be only used when we use the present perfect tense. The present perfect, we are going to see it later on, but it's very important that you know a little bit before we go to that, okay? So every single time that you're using or that you're making a question using the present perfect, you can use the word ever. So we have an example here. Have you ever been to New Zealand? Have you ever been to New Zealand? I haven't ever. What if, what or how do I can change this word ever? Can I change that for the word never? Is it possible if I say, I have never been to, to Switzerland? Is it possible or not? What do you think? Repeat the question, teacher. According to the rule, no, teacher. It's, it's not. In negative. Okay. Let, let me write it on the chat. That's, let, let me write it there. So probably that was going to help you. I have never been to Sutherland. See? Mm. 
Right it there. I wrote it on the chat. So as you can see, it's completely different. The one that I wrote is not the same that the one that we have here as an example. So my question for you was, can I say, instead of saying, I haven't ever been to Switzerland, can I say, I have never been to Switzerland? Is it possible? Yes, teacher. Why do you think so? Because you are giving a, a negative sense to the sentence, but it is not negative. Okay. Melvin, why you say no? Melvin Jose, why, why do you think that's not possible? okay so <laughs> okay no problem okay so uh uh it's actually what who who gave me the who said that about the negative sense who gave that opinion i did teacher what's your name it's kind of difficult to pronounce it it air i been is that is that i been yes Arabian. Okay, so it's actually what Arabian says. It sounds like Arabian name, something like that. So, okay, it's pretty much what he said. Even though we are not uh, using a negative form, this form that I wrote on the chat is possible. Why? Because even though we, it is not in negative form, we are still giving a negative sense to the sentence because we are using uh, never, which gives a negative sense to it, even though we not we do not use a negative verb. I hope everyone else is understanding. If you are not understanding, or by by any reason you have any question, please ask the questions. Do never uh, let the doubt in yourself. Okay, try to ask as many questions as possible if you don't understand. Okay. So do you guys have any question or can I move on to move on to the next slide? That's more than a thousand words, so I'm gonna move on. I'm sorry, what? Did some well, I heard something, but no, probably not. So here we just have uh once again the position of the adverbs. Let me see. Um Joaquin, can you help me, Joaquin, reading the this part, this part here? Okay, teacher. The Let's position go. on the the position on the adverb in the sentence. Okay. And an adverb and frequency goes before a main verb, except with to be with to be. Mm -hmm. So adverb and main verb. Always remember to do my homework. He normally get go, get good, marked in extent. Okay, basically what we're doing here is just repeating once again what I just said so minutes ago. It's just a matter for you to remember what is the formula that we have to follow when we want to use an adverb of frequency. As I told you before, if we have any other verb that is not the verb B, we will have to follow this formula number one. So let me see, um, William. Can you help me, William, reading part number two? This part we have right here. Okay, teacher. An adverb of frequency goes after the verb to be. Okay. Subject plus to be plus adverb. They are never pleased to see me. She isn't usually bad tempered. Thank you very much, okay? Once again, we're just repeating or uh, showing you the way that we have to do the sentences, okay? When we have the verb be, as you can see, it changes just a little bit. Uh, here we have another part, Elmer. Can you, heal, uh, can you help me please, this part, if you don't mind? Okay, teacher. When we use an actual verb, how? With, must, might, 
Hold, walk, can. A to C. The bird is placed between the auxiliar and the main bird. This is also true for to be. Okay. Thank you. So, so, okay. okay. We're okay. going to leave it there because I'm going to explain you something there. When we have guys, does any one of you know how do we call to this auxiliaries? Must, might, could, and would? Have you ever heard about it before? Have you ever heard about them before? Yes, they are used to express possibilities. Excellent, to express possibilities, to express uh, like obligations and uh, things like those. So we call them in English model verbs, but we can also call them auxiliary verbs. Why do we call them in that way? We do it in that way because that is going to, those are going to help us, like as it I've been said, to sometimes to give some possibilities. And what is the formula that we will have to follow? When we have an auxiliary or a model verb, we will have to follow this pattern or this formula. Subject plus auxiliary or model verb plus the adverb plus the main verb. And of course, after the main verb, we can have any complement, anything. So we have some examples here. She can sometimes beat me in a race. I would hardly ever be unkind to someone. They might never see each other again. They could occasionally be heard laughing, okay? So basically what is showing you here is just, it's just, I'm sorry, what the way you have to place the adverbs of frequency when you have things like those. So let me ask you, the information that we just saw, is there any question that you might have, any doubt or something that you would like me to explain you again? Or are we clear with that? Carlos Rivas, do you have any question? Good evening. Uh, yes, that is just seeing an answer. That is not with a question. Mm -hmm. What? What? That is what, what all about the, the position, yes. The position of the adverb in, in sentences. Yeah, most of the time we are going to use, I mean, we can use uh, adverbs of frequency in questions. We can use that too. But now the examples that we just saw are just for answers to questions. Later on, or uh, we're going to try to see how we place the adverbs of frequency in questions, okay? Okay. Thank you. So let's move on to the next part then. And here we have, let me tell you that we also have some words or, ex or expressions of frequency. Normally the question that we are going to use to ask someone about how frequently or the frequency of an action we are always going to use the question, how often? How often or how often, okay? That's the, the pronunciation. So we said we have how often plus do or does, depending on which tense we are talking, then a pronoun, then a verb, and obviously the question mark at the end. So we have some examples right here. How often do you go to the cinema? How often? That's Mary Cook. Let me see. Um, let me see. Let me ask someone. Anna Noemi, if I ask you the question, how often do you go to the cinema? What would you respond or what would you answer to that question? What would you okay. say if I ask you a question like that? Okay, teacher, maybe I answer. Uh, once a day, once a week, normally. Once Maybe. a week, normally, okay. We were going to accept that even though it's not grammatically like grammatically correct, but I mean, 
in English, we have uh, formal English and you know English from the streets, which is understandable from everybody else. So thank you very much for participating, Anna. We're going to see someone else. Let me thank see uh, Nivia. Nivia, if I ask you the question, how often does Mary cook? What would you say to that question? Nivia, are you there? Yeah, what would you say to that? If I ask you, how often does Mary cook? Oh, yeah, in the portrait. Okay, no problem. Let's okay. announce. Er, I mean, what would you say to that question? Which one, teacher? The number two. How often does Mary cook? Uh, she cooks twice a week. She cooks twice a week. Yeah, we can say that. Now, let's see. Let's try to make an activity right now. And let me grab that sentence, uh, question here. Okay, let me see. If I ask you something like that, can you see uh, on the chat, please, if I ask you, how often do you brush your teeth? I need every one of you, the ones that are here on the video call, to write an example or an answer that you would give to that question. You have one minute to do so. Everyone. So we are 20, 27, I'm sorry, 27, including me. So it means that I will receive 26 answers through the chat, through this chat right now. So what would you say to that question? Okay. I got arrivings already, okay. Maybe the answer. I brush my. It is to be personal. I brush my teeth uh, twice a day. Or a day. That's that's a good that's a good answer. No, say three times, maybe twice a day. Okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's good. Elmer, do you have any question? I don't have any question, teacher. Oh, well, my, I my, okay. my, answer, my answer is uh -huh. I always brush my teeth every day. I, al I always brush my teeth. That's a good answer. What about the other ones? I mean, I told you to write the your answers on the chat and I the only one that I can see on the chat is arriving's answer. What about the other ones? And now I can see Carlos. Carlos Rivas, I brush my teeth three times a day. That's a good one. That's good. What about the others? Si todos están aquí o andan agarrando señal todavía. Because I, I just I just saw Anna Noemi and Elmer and Arivin and Carlos, William. I got Williams right now. I brush my teeth every day. Okay, that's good. I got Wilfredo too. I brush my teeth three three times a day. Mayra Villorio, how often do you go to I mean, the question is good, Mayra, that's a good question. But what I was asking you to do is was to give an answer to the question that I wrote. Well, I got the, I brush my teeth every day. 
Elude. I brush my teeth every day. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, it's it's good that you're using the expressions of frequency. Uh, it, that's fine. I mean, but we are, as I said, 26 on the call. And I just see the same people participating. So I don't know what, what happens with the other ones. Remember that when you participate, that helps you too, of course, to say the things. And if you mispronounce something, I can help you to get the right pronunciation. Because it's not the same if you are just there, just paying attention. And if you never say something, how are you going to know if, what, if the way that you pronounce things is the correct way? So when you participate, that helps me to identify if you have or if you do not pronounce correctly a word, okay? So, but thank you so much for those that are participating. I do appreciate that. And as I always say, I take that into consideration, okay? Because participation is something really nice. So I got Gabriela, I got Mayra too, Ingrid. Let me see, Carmen, okay like three times a day. I brush my teeth like three times. Okay, Gabriela. All right, so thank you so much for those who sent uh, the answers to, to the chat. So the other ones, please next time try to participate too so we can see how you're doing, okay? So we're going to move on guys to, to the next information. So as you can see, we have some time, uh, some expressions of frequency here which we say once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, and so on and so on and so on. We can just continue saying the, the numbers. So then we have, uh, we can say once a day, once a week, twice a month, twice a year, four times a year, and so on and so on and so on. So what, what we can do is just to connect those words and then when we say it, that it is going to sound as you're using an expression of frequency, okay? So this that we have here is that in English, we can say one time. We can say that, that's possible. We can say one time, but when you say one time, it sounds, it makes you sound like if you're learning English. Of course, we're learning. But when you say once, instead of saying one time, that makes you sound like, like a native person, like someone who learned English like in a, in, a, in, a different, in a different way. So when you say that, it makes you sound like a native person. So it's up to you actually, if you want to say one time or once, or if you want to say two times as twice. That will be up to you. But if you say one time or two times, that's also possible to say it, okay? So let's move on to the next part because time is running. And we still have some other time expressions there. And like these ones, like every morning, every evening, every night, every day, every weekend, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, week, year, and so on and so on and so on. What we can do is just to add something to the word every, and when we say so, that is going to count as um, expressions of frequency. We have some examples right here, like Mary cooks every day. I play tennis every Sunday. As it says here, the rest of frequency expressions are placed at the end of the sentence. So one thing that you have to keep in mind is that Expressions of frequency would always be placed at the end of the sentence. So we cannot place in neither at the beginning nor in the middle. So it will be always at the end of the sentence to make sense, okay? So with the information that we just saw, do you guys have any questions so far? Alguien tiene una pregunta? Is it clear? Hacemos un examen ya y todos sacan 10. I'm sorry, I, di I didn't listen to what you said. Can you repeat it again? Uh, yes, can you repeat it again? I don't listen to it. You didn't listen, okay. No problem. I can hear that it's raining very strong there. So, um, yes. 
Okay, so what I was saying is that the frequency or the expressions of frequency are always going to be placed at the end of the sentence, never in the middle, never at the beginning. No, the position of the expressions of frequency is always going to be at the end to make sense. Okay, so any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Yeah. No, thank you. I understand. Ok. Los demás, claros como el agua. Como la horchata. Oh my God. Why so? Why you say so? Uh, you say, teacher, uh, yes. every in the finish the, the word or sentence is regularly. Oh, no change for, for other, other sentences. Uh, can you repeat that again? Because I, I, I barely. The, every is mm -hmm. the finish the sentence in all. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, the change for verb or. No, or... It, it, it doesn't change actually. It's, it's just there. It, it doesn't change. So we just do it in the way that we have it here. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir. Okay. So if there's no any other question, we're going to move on to the next part. And here we have everything that we saw at the beginning is here, pretty much everything. So here we have time expressions. What is the question that we are going to, to do or to ask when we want to know the frequency? Now, let, let's see, let's try to make a practice. I need, everyone to send or to write a question in the chat using how often, okay? Everyone, write a question on the chat using how often. And please try to be honest. Try to give examples of your own. Do not go to Google. Do not go to the translator. Just try to do it by yourself. If it is not correct, it doesn't matter. We are here to learn, okay? But do not go to, the, to Google. Because if you go to Google, you are lying yourself, okay? You're lying yourself because, I mean, you're just copying it and pasting it. Ingrid, okay, I got Ingrid. How often do you play soccer? That's good, Ingrid. Melvin, how often do you read the Bible? Okay, that's excellent, Melvin. Arriving, how often do they travel to Chalatenango? That's that's great. Katya, how often do you watch television? Then uh, the problem is just a, a letter H. Just the letter H. It's we don't we don't use the letter H in watch, but probably that was uh, just just something with the keyboard, something that happens. Maritza, how often do you go to the beach? Okay. Elmer Mauricio, how often do you play soccer? Okay. How often do you okay? How often do you go to the gym? Okay, that's good. How often do you go to the mall? Ingrid, Elude, how often do you watch TV? Cecilia, how often does she wash her car? How often, every often? Anna Noemi, there we're still missing something. How often? You're still missing there the auxiliary. You have to say how often do, uh, do you run? Does she run? I don't know. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, okay. I don't like. <laughs> okay, no problem. How often do you play football? Gabriela, how often do you play game? Okay. That's how, how often do you go to the city? How often do you take the car to workshop? Okay, excellent. I see that, I, well, I saw that pretty much everyone participated this time. So thank you very much for that. So before we go, guys, to the real practice, question so far. No hay preguntas, no questions at all. All right, so if there is no questions, we're going to go to the main practice or the practice that we have for today. 
And in this case, guys, what we're going, oh my God, my computer got stuck. Okay. So in this case, what you have to do is just to put the, the words in order. Uh, what you can do is take a screenshot, uh, tomar una captura de pantalla if you're using your phone, or I don't know, to take a picture if you're using a computer. Because I'm just going to be moving the slides and then we're going to go to the breakout rooms to work together, okay? So, okay. All right, so let me know when, you, when you're when you done with this part so I can move to number two. Just take a screenshot or take a picture, that's it. Well, so I move on, I will move on to number two then. This is number two. And this part, what you will have to do with your team is to find five adverbs of frequency, five, no more than that. There's just five adverbs of frequency there. Okay, so I guess you guys done. So this is the other one. Oh, I know what just happened there, but someone did something there. Let me see, let me try it. Okay, All right. Okay, so uh, that's gonna be all. Uh, we're going to move on to the breakout rooms. And once again, guys, if you're working with your classmates there, try to speak in English. Try to, okay? Try to participate there because I will be checking all of you there. If I see that you do not participate and that you are just there, just as a ghost. So I will, I will be checking that, okay? So try to participate everyone. So let's go to the rooms. Teacher. Yes. No, yo ya no tengo carga y no he tenido luz en la casa. No, it's fine. No problem. I understand that. I completely understand that. It's okay. Thank you. What about you guys? Were you not able to join your groups or what happened? I never talk to strangers. So, Tuber, I never talk to strangers. 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 They. 
They always. They always watch English TV. Mm -hmm. We. Oops. You finish time. No, I'm just checking how, just to see how you're doing. Oh, okay. We have to dinner. For dinner. For dinner. Sometime pizza. But I see that you're working individually. You're not actually helping each other, are you? But it's the same teacher. I the uh, the order the way the the is, is, uh, WhatsApp is not don't know picture the captures. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Or is it uh, as one moment start again? <laughs> okay. Trash. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. Ya encontré never. Que en la esquina Sometimes. superior derecha está la R y ahí busca en la diagonal está never. También está sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, ya lo encontré. Es, el, es como bien obvio. Mm. Often está en la última fila mano derecha. Comienza a partir often. de la mitad. Often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde? They always. They always. Watch TV. In English. In English. In English, yes. Okay. Well, if you say it, you can play. This is more the adverbs of frequency at the worst. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Um, um, often. Play. Always. 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 Uh -huh. It's in friends. Wash. Was in, in, in English in TV. Mm -hmm. TV was in English. Yeah. In Teacher. Yes. Uh, estoy sola. <laughs> Yo lo estoy resolviendo. Ah, okay, no problem. Okay, we're just going to wait for the others to come back to the main session and just to see how they did. So I see everyone is coming back. Okay, great. So perfect. Let me see. Uh, can I have a volunteer for letter B? Who would like to help me with letter B? Hi, teacher. 
Oh, okay, Joaquin Hello. and then Katya, okay? Joaquin, let's go with the letters. And then, no? <laughs> <laughs> We have some time for pizza, for dinner pizza. R repeat it again, please. We have some time for pizza dinner. Be careful there, because if you remember, if you remember the formula, we have to say we sometimes have, but we have oh. sometimes we cannot say that. Okay, so okay. with that, Katia, can you help me with letter C? Okay, teacher. I never, I never talk to strangers. I never talk to strangers. Thank you very much. What about teacher. letter D? You're welcome, teacher. Hi, teacher. Yo. Okay. Yo. Okay, Hi. Iris, and then Nidia. Letter D, Iris. Okay. They usually watch TV in English. They usually watch TV in English. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Nidia, letter E. Okay, uh, she usually uh, in, uh, she usually um, play mm -hmm. with bar her friend. She usually friend. No, she usually play mm -hmm. uh, in the bar uh -huh. with friends. With her friends. That one is she usually plays. <laughs> Hard with her friends okay? Mm -hmm. okay so guys that's gonna be all for tonight guys so thank you oh do you have any questions melvin do you have any question no uh, oh, okay i'm sorry so tomorrow you can help me participating tomorrow okay so i just want to say guys thank you so much for attending today to the class uh, well, I hope uh, that we are going to learn as much as possible here. Remember, if you have any question or something, feel free to ask, never hesitate, never doubt, and always ask your questions. Remember that starting from today, you have the platform. You have to start working on the platform. And if you have any question regarding to any exercise of the platform, please ask. Ask so I can help you to resolve any issue or any doubt, okay? Teacher, one question. Okay. Yes. Today is you don't pass the attendance or maybe tomorrow? I, I, I didn't pass the attendance today, but I saw your name, so I know who was in the class and obviously, this uh this video call is being recorded so i will have the recording with me so i can see who was in the class and who was not okay, okay thank, thank you so much for asking so that's gonna be all for today guys thank you so much for attending see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel okay have a good night okay good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.